Build coding projects or grind lead code? Which one should you be doing if you want to maximize your chances of getting hired as a software engineer this year? In today's video, I'm going to very briefly explain everything you need to know, and I'm going to give you the tips I wish I knew before I started to learn to code. So to start off, if you want a super quick answer, first build coding projects and then grind lead code. If you are already experienced, just grind lead code and then spam some system design questions. Now, if you're a relative beginner or if you have no experience, you're likely waking up to five, unfortunately, we've moved on to other candidates' emails every single morning. The cold, harsh truth is this is just because you have no experience in the field. Now, you might be wondering, Eric, how in the world do companies expect me to gain experience when no company out there is hiring somebody with no prior experience to begin with? This is where coding projects come into play. As a software engineer especially, it's very easy to demonstrate your past knowledge and skills through your coding projects. For example, if you're somebody with no experience but a company is looking for a Spring Boot developer and you've built a couple projects with Spring Boot, you're likely still a good candidate. For this reason alone, building coding projects or contributing to open source projects is the single best thing you can include on your resume when you have no experience. I strongly recommend you have at least three unit tested coding projects that are hosted online for anybody to see on your resume at all times. This could be a web app hosted with Netlify and Vercel, or even a mobile app on the App Store. Bonus points if you could get some sort of user base for these coding projects. If you're struggling for ideas or you're a beginner that wants to learn by doing, which I highly recommend by the way, let me put you on. Go to Google, search for Project Based Learning GitHub, and click on the first link. Here you will find a bunch of different coding projects in a variety of programming languages. They also include step-by-step -step tutorials for each one, so in my opinion, this is honestly the best thing you could possibly do to learn to code. Now, the reason why companies use LeetCode style questions in interviews to begin with is to actually test someone's data structures and algorithms knowledge. I think it's a bit controversial whether or not this is actually a good way to see if someone's a good software engineer, but that's besides the point. My personal roadmap was to learn my DSA using Python because it's as close to pseudocode as you could possibly get, and in these interviews, you wanna be removing as many obstacles as possible. These are two websites that every single CS student needs to know if they want to land a six-figure job. Neatcode will help you pass 95% of your technical interviews. And that includes companies like Google, Amazon, Microsoft, and all these other big tech companies that you can imagine. It has a roadmap covering every single possible subject you could be asked in an interview. It's also organized chronologically to simplify the entire process because you don't want to be learning backtracking before you even learn binary trees. If you click on a subject, it then gives you a list of the most commonly asked LeetCode questions. The best part is, every single question comes with a step-by-step -step video tutorial breaking down the solution so you'll never get frustrated or stuck on a question. This next website is so goaded, I can't even begin to explain to you. First of all, say you have an interview with Amazon coming up. You could search for all technical interview questions that have historically showed up in previous interviews. That way, you know you can study the correct content so you're never caught off guard. Now the coolest part, if you switch over to the tips tab, there's a brief summary of when you should use different algorithms. I know I still get stuck wondering whether a question is DP sometimes, so I try to refresh my memory by reading this before every single interview. In the end, coding projects and work experience just gets you to that door, but grinding leak code can oftentimes push you through that door and get you hired. Good luck and subscribe for more free coding tips like this.